Hi everyone, I'm going to really quickly show you what I'm cooking for dinner. Um, I don't know if I'll get to show you the whole thing or not. I don't know if I have enough battery, blah, blah. Anyways, I will try. So I'm going to turn you around real fast and show you what I'm doing to start with. It's kind of a chicken spaghetti, but not really. It's more like a chicken and tomato sauce type thing. So I'll turn you around. Alright, sorry about that. I have one tablespoon. Turn that off. One tablespoon of olive oil in there and I'm gonna let that heat up for a second and I'm going to put in my chopped onion um, this is just a sweet onion and it's probably about a half a cup of onion I don't really measure vegetables so I'm not sure so I'm gonna saute those really good um, and then I'm going to throw in my fresh tomatoes and then my garlic and I'm gonna simmer that together for just a few minutes and then I'm going to stick in my chicken, and that's all. No, I'm kidding. This was a leftover piece of chicken we cooked on the grill two days ago, and I want to use it before it goes bad. So that's like an ounce of chicken that I just cut up. And then I'm going to use some fresh um, boneless, skinless chicken breast. This is supposed to be, let me show you. Two point two two pounds of chicken. But if you will look at this, let me show you. Let's turn that on, get it to zero. Crank that on there. Oh look, 2.2 ounces of blubber. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to show you that. That was kind of gross. Anyway, so I'm gonna cook my chicken with my onions, my tomatoes, my garlic, and then I'm going to throw in a jar of Barilla um, tomato and basil pasta sauce. It has some olive oil in it. And I'm going to simmer that all together. I have not worked out the points for all this, but I will, and I'll put it in the description box below. So this has, for a half a cup of sauce, is one gram of fat, uh, 12 carbs, two fiber, and two protein. So that's not too bad. All right, so let me get all this going, and I will be right back to show you what it looks like while it's simmering. Okay, I just want to show you what it looks like um, so far. I have the tablespoon of olive oil, the onion, and the fresh tomato in there. I kind of like to throw the tomato in there and just let it take on the taste of the um, sautéed onions. And then I wanted to say this, the last thing that you want to throw in there before you put your sauce in to sauté is your garlic because it quick cooks very quickly and it will burn if you put it in first with the onion. So I'm going to stick my garlic in the garlic crust. Sorry, I'm one-handedly doing this. And hopefully I can squeeze those. There we go, with one hand. So I'm going to have to scrape that off with a knife, but there's my nice fresh garlic. And I'm just going to put that in there and let it saute for about a minute until the garlic is nice and sautéed. And then I'm going to put my chicken in there with my seasonings, and I'll be back to show you that. All right, I have a little under two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I'm going to sprinkle on my chicken some garlic and herb seasoning from Old Bay and some uh, country herb grinder from Stone Mill. I get this at Aldi, and the Old Bay you can get pretty much any grocery store. Um, that's for seafood, you know, poultry, whatever you want to put it on. So I'm going to put my country herb seasoning on there first. This is just um, sea salt, rosemary, parsley, oregano, basil, mint, sage, and thyme. So it works really well with a good Italian dish. I don't measure seasoning, sorry. By the time I'm done, I'll have probably about a quarter teaspoon in there. And then I'll maybe add a little bit more later. So, that's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon, actually. And then for my old day seasoning, I will get a good quarter teaspoon going in there for that. Alright. I'm just going to stir it around. And what I like to do is get the chicken to where it's starting to brown, at least on one side, um, but not done. Because then I, I feel like it just gets too dry. And then I'll pour in my sauce and let it simmer until the chicken, just until the chicken is done and then turn it off, and if I had time, I would let it sit 
um, or put it in a crock pot on low and let it simmer. And it's just sit in there, you know, um, and let all the flavors blend and everything. But I don't have time because it's uh, 4.18 p.m. and my husband's on his way home and we need to eat dinner. So I'll be back to show you what it all looks like and show you what I'm serving with it. All right, here's the end. This is my chicken, tomatoes, garlic, onions, seasoning, and my gorilla pasta sauce. And a, about two teaspoons of Splenda because my family likes their spaghetti sauce and their sauce is a little sweeter. Simmering away. Looking pretty delicious. Tastes good. With it, I'm going to serve, in honor of Hair by Ash, <laughs> some roasted asparagus, which I have about a tablespoon of olive oil on with some Paula Deen garlic powder, which I'm not really fond of garlic powder, but I figured it would work this time. A little bit of oregano and a little sprinkling of nature's seasoning. Put that on a cookie sheet and roast it in the oven at 425 for a few minutes until it's nice and crispy. And then, as you can see, it's leftover sides night. We do this about once a week because I don't like throwing things away and I end up throwing too much food away. So we have some roasted potatoes left over from our cookout night before last that I'm going to throw back on the cookie sheet and stick back in the oven to kind of crisp them up again. Some leftover macaroni and cheese that my daughter and my husband will probably eat. Some leftover corn. Um, my daughter will probably eat her chicken with these noodles. My husband and my son will probably eat it with the rice. And I'm probably just going to eat chicken sauce, asparagus, and a nice big fat green salad with my dressing and everything. So I hope that was helpful to some of you guys. I'll list everything in the description box as to what I've used, how I did it, how long it took to cook and all that stuff. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you're having a good day. Have a great week. Bye.